Welcome to the breakdown with Nath and Texty Boy Johnny. That's what he was going to say. I wasn't going to say that. It wasn't paying attention. But yeah. I'm glad you called yourself out for being a Texty Boy. Well, I didn't want to just continue being a passenger of this channel, so I thought I'd take the reins there. That was shit. Today we're checking out the brand new track from Boss Amount of Passenger off the mm. upcoming album Datura. You need more manners. Anyway. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Sick one. Another yeah. classic Johnny Zinger. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, oh, that's what you come wow. here for. Oh, you definitely don't come for the music. Boss um, Man are releasing an album. That's the whole point here. October 14th, Tatura. That's ages away. God damn it. Come on, boys. Drop that shit. Think about that, though. That's what, three months? In the scope of your very, very, very long life that you're so old, it's only a, a second. Yeah, but I might not make it till October 14th. <laughs> It's been a long night. <laughs> it really has. We love Boston Manor. Johnny loves Boston Manor. I do. They they are just I have to so bloody good. Accentuate that how much because I love them, but Johnny loves them. I really do. I really do. I'm so excited for this album. Uh, I just think they're so cool, so different, so great. Um, but hey, you know what I love more than Boston Manor? <laughs> the director's name is Zach Pynchon. I like Pynchon as a last name. <laughs> anyway. My segue Sorry. was yeah, going to be, you know what I love more than Boston Manor? You guys. And I love when you do all the things that help us out, like liking and subscribing. Follow us on, on the socials. Follow us in, Following us. I love socials. when Johnny can finish a fucking sentence and put his headphones on. Zach Pynchon. Put your headphones on. I am not the Pynchon. What? I'm not the Pynchon. You said Zach Pynchon. Put your headphones on. I'm not the Pynchon. Oh, I'm the Pynchon. Another classic. <laughs> I'm going. After this, I'm done. <laughs> Interesting, like, program drum. Yeah. Interesting production so far. stadium rock yeah a little bit it's got an interesting element of it that reminds me of like like 90s post rock bands and stuff you know like bands like garbage and stuff like that with that drum beat um yeah it's very interesting it's it's cool though i'm digging it i'm digging it it it's missing edge so far for me i feel the same way okay that's what i'm hoping for cool. Good shirt.
Um, I, it's just a personal thing of mine, but I hate that camera sort of effect. The blurry yeah, delay. Yeah, yeah. It kind of just... Sometimes it works in small doses, but yeah, generally it just doesn't really sit well with me because I'm like, oh, like, I can't focus on anything and it's a bit... I don't know. It just seems like an easy thing to do to add some kind of dynamic to the video. Okay. If that's... Yeah. You know what I mean? That's just me. I never got the edge I wanted from that. That was catchy, but it was too safe. repetitive for my liking. And it's a bit safe for me. Yeah, it was definitely not my favorite of the last stuff we checked out from them. Yeah, it was, I actually did enjoy the catchiness, yeah. but it wasn't as, it didn't have that next boss amount of feel to separate it from other radio rock and maybe that's what they're going. Maybe that's this. Oh, that's the safe entry level song for a lot of people that, to grab more people in from a radio song. But yeah, my thing with that is there has been another song that's been similar in that sort of approach already. So maybe it's a thing they're going for. There has been a couple of songs that have lacked that edge. And look, I don't. I'm not saying I need them to be screaming in every song because they've never done that. No, um, not at all. But it is that repetition and that safety in keeping it very formulaic. Um, there could I'd, have been like a little breakdown after that half-time bit. Even musically, there could have been just like a big drum fill, like leading something exciting there, into that next little bit after there. It just yeah. went into... They should just actually use that vocal sample there. It in. was pretty good. <laughs> um, but something there that wasn't just, okay, we're going back in the same chorus again now. Yeah, 100%. Now, like I said, I don't need them to be screaming in every song, but... And I, I don't think it was a bad song either. It was catchy. I'll still enjoy listening to it. Uh, it'll probably sit even better in the context of an album. I was going to say, it comes on. I'm not skipping it because I didn't no, got like it. Yeah. But I will be honest and I'll say that there's been a couple of songs that they've released from this album that are missing the things that made me fall in love with this band. Okay. That's a potential concern for me as a fan moving forward. I'd also like them to be a little bit more adventurous with their music videos. Their music videos have all been pretty yeah, much... Yeah, that last one was very same lighting, this. same vibe, yeah. Yeah. Agreed. Um, and I feel like maybe some of it is potentially that whole, like, do we not have an idea? Do we just want to get a video out? Because I like watching the performance sort of stuff. Yeah. But are they storyboarding with very generic things just for the sake of storyboarding? Could be budget. Who knows? Yeah, true. What but, did you guys think? For those of you that are Boston Manor fans, did that tick the boxes? The comments are all pretty positive, but for those of you that haven't heard them... Did that make you want to check out more of them or was that not quite enough? Comment below, let us know your thoughts. I'm still excited for the album. I'll, I'm yeah. interested here as a whole to see how that song fits in there. But it was just missing something for me. Yeah, I, I agree with what Nave said. So, um, yeah, if you are a Boston Manor fan especially, please be honest. Um, please. Where does that sit for you in terms of uh, the rest of their catalog because uh, it is interesting to me if they're going to have some more exciting stuff on the album why they're leading with these sorts of songs as I said maybe it's just that easy access radio type it was a big stadium rock song and that would fit comfortably if you could sing along to that yeah oh look like we said we still won't skip the song still like the song um, we've also sat through about 12 videos this evening so yeah we do lots <laughs> we love you lots <laughs> <laughs>